Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make these cards responsive for both desktop and mobile view. This is an extension for the previous video where I showed you how to create these animated view cards. So if you want to check that video out, follow the link in the description and shown here in this video. In the next steps I will quickly show you how to create this whole thing to be responsive and working in a desktop and a mobile view. First, let's duplicate our cards, so we have three cards in total, and let's create a stack of them. And it may look a bit dumb now, but when we scale the width a bit, you can actually see that it's responsive at the moment. But when we scale our viewport, you can see that the cards are not actually scaling up at the moment, so we have to fix that. So let's select the desktop, and let's set the height to be fit content. This way we can adjust the rest of the site to be responsive. Let's add a bit of padding to the desktop and let's call our stack with cards a card section and let's change the width of this section to be fill and let's make some further adjustments as well so let's adjust the spacing between the cards and the padding in this section a bit more. But now when we scale the whole desktop you can actually see that the cards are responsive and they ad adapt to the size of the desktop view. Now we can easily modify each of the cards, so we can change some colors, some layout a bit to kind of like make them stand out a bit more. We still have to fix one issue. What happens when you scale the desktop to be enormous, we can see that the cards will get way too big. So we can press from the minimax button and set the max speed to be whatever you want, but basically it will stop the cards to be scaling way too big. And now our desktop view is basically ready. So what we want to do now is to create a responsive mobile view. So basically we can just add a new breakpoint for the phone. And as you can see, the cards will automatically get stacked on top of them, which is kind of nice but we still have to fix the layout issue. And basically to fix that issue, we just have to set the height to be fit content. And that's it, it should work now. And as you can see, we have a nicely working responsive design here in place. As a bonus thing, if we go to the preview, we can see that the cards are not actually responding to any hover state or anything. So we can actually create a nice looking hover state here pretty easily. So let's just select all the cards and go into the effects menu and press on the plus button and set the hover effect to the cards. This way they will actually feel interactive with you. That was it. Hopefully you liked the video. And if you want to learn how to create the U animation in Frame, check out the other video in my channel and leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this one. See you later!